the other big benefit of this ticket is the flexibility. And this has been a big boon or a blessing for us during our trip right now. And flexibility in form that you can change the tickets as many times as you possible within a 24 hour notice uh, without any costs. Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about this hidden secret that the airlines have called the round the world tickets. And I'm going to be talking to you about this topic from this amazing, fascinating, scary, eerie, uh, impressive Airbnb that we are currently staying in some part of Canada. Um, this is, I'm sitting in the living room and this living room is full of taxidermy and um, <laughs> At least I learned so much of, uh, of animals in the last two, three days um, just by Google and, you know, learning about these uh, different deers and horns, etc. Um, anyways, quick introduction about myself. My name is Yogi and uh, my wife Seema and I, we both um, achieved financial independence and retired early before the age of 50. And to, uh, to celebrate that, we embarked on this one year world trip and that is what this video is all about because um, over the last few weeks and months we've been getting quite a few questions from our friends and colleagues as well as um, some folks who watched the videos um, saying hey how did you go about uh, booking this trip um, did you contact a travel agent did you plan it yourself and um, so thought we'll, we'll share or at least i'll share some of the uh, thoughts how it went, uh, how this trip came about. So interestingly, you know, we were thinking that we'll do a travel, but we had not planned a, a world trip. Uh, we, we wanted to do a, a bit of travel straight after this, uh, you know, announcing our uh, retiring early. Um, and one of our very good friends, Bob and Joe, they were over at home. They said, hey, we are going on a honeymoon or we are planning to use our air miles to book this round the world ticket and that's where I, we started questioning them is how did this come about what is this about and then that's where i got to know that the airlines have this special ticket which is called the round the world ticket so this ticket interestingly enables you to travel around the world at a much cheaper price than what you would travel um, you know if you book these flights individually there are certain rules that you have to follow for um, uh, to book these tickets and i'll go through uh, the rules uh, in a minute but just before uh, before that the key point the price so typically these tickets and hold on there for economy class can cost you just about anywhere between 1500 to maximum $5000 um, for around the world ticket and imagine how many countries you're visiting how many cities you're visiting and nowadays looking at the price probably that's the amount that you're paying for just booking two flights or three flights a business class can cost you anywhere between five thousand to fifteen thousand dollars and and the range is because of the number of miles of the destinations that you fly i'll just come to that in a, a minute and a first class can be anywhere between fifteen to $25,000 for the entire journey. Keep in mind, $1,500 to $5,000, give or take, for the entire journey for many number of destinations, $5,000 to $15,000 $15, for an entire journey of business class and $15,000 to $25,000 for the entire journey of first class. In my view, uh, when we compared at least our travel itinerary and when we compared these flights, because these are typically one-way flights, um, the price was 3x or 4x or even 5x um, with the same conditions had we bought these individual flights. So definitely it's a bargain when it comes to um, such a travel. Um, however, these, these um, tickets come with certain rules and conditions. So the conditions are, one is, you have to complete this duration of this trip 
within 365 days. So that's why it's called a uh, round the world one year ticket. But you know, um, round the world, you have to complete a minimum, you have to do it in 10 days. And I think give or take different airlines, I think it's around, some airlines may do it around seven, but generally I've seen different uh, uh, alliance partners have around 10 days. And most or almost all of them, you have to complete it within one year or 365 days. So that's rule number one or condition number one, which I think is a fairly reasonable one. The second is, and again, depending on different airlines, um, that the number of destinations that you can fly. Uh, generally, I would say um, between anywhere between 12 to 15 destinations are the maximum number of uh, destinations. And destinations means cities. Uh, or the airports that you will be landing in, so not countries. It could be that, for example, we are touching two cities in the U.S. Uh, sorry, we are setting two, uh, sitting, uh, hitting two cities in Canada and uh, also two cities in the U.S. So, the, you know, these are the number of destinations that get added. So that is the second rule. The third rule is that you can't be uh, coming back to the point where you started unless you complete the journey. So for example, we started a journey from Singapore. So during the journey, we can't be flying back to Singapore. Um, however, we have to complete it and come back to Singapore. So essentially, our ticket is Singapore to Singapore. So like if you start from London or you start from Delhi, you, you have to, whatever is your starting point, you can't be returning back to that starting point during the uh, during the duration unless you book a separate ticket and a separate flight but you have to complete this journey from the point that you started the other rule that you have to cross the atlantic and the pacific once so that is what will make it a round the world uh, or a true round the world trip so that means if you are starting from europe you have to touch the americas and the asias um, or you and americas could be that you go latin america or north america or Africa's, so but you have to cross the Atlantic and the Pacific, and you have to come back. Um, so, for example, in our case, we are starting from Singapore, so we started from Asia, we went to Europe, and then from Europe to um, North America, and then we are back to Australia and back to Asia. So this is, you know, how we're doing. And the last condition is that you have to choose a direction. So once you start a direction, you can't be flying the opposite direction. So that means that, for example, in our case, we started from uh, Asia, so we are going to Europe. So we can't then from Europe come back to Asia. Um, so we are starting from Asia, Europe, so we are going west, so east to west, and then we go to Americas, and then we are back to Asia. Um, however, I think most of the airlines allow you to make some uh, back and forth within a continent. So for example, in our case, we went from Singapore to Delhi and then from Delhi back to Bangkok. So we were flying uh, west and then we flew east, but this is within the continent. Similarly, in the U.S., you could do it if you are or in Europe. So if you if you go to Europe and let's say you fly to Portugal and from Portugal you go to London. Um, so you're going west and then going east. So that's allowed. So these are some of the conditions that come with the ticket. So to make it really a true round the world ticket. There are, however, lots of benefits of this. One, and the biggest benefit I would say is price, because as you uh, would look at these tickets individually, these would be super expensive tickets. The round the world ticket is not uh, taken by um, uh, or not using your uh, the the location that you're going in, or is it a Christmas time or a festive time or a peak holiday period? It doesn't take those conditions. It just looks the number of miles that you're flying. So you could be flying in the peak season. You could be flying in the low season. Um, your price will be determined by the number of miles that you fly. So that's a big benefit on the price side that you are not, uh, um, you know, uh, constrained by a season or a, or a peak uh, or low season for that matter. Um, the other big benefit of this ticket is the flexibility and this has been a big boon or a blessing for us during our trip right now and flexibility in form that you can change the tickets as many times as you possible within a 24-hour notice uh, without any costs 
So we, for example, decided to change our dates, um, you know, I think it's been now six times because we decided that we like a country more or, for example, there were um, there are these there were these forest fires in Canada, so we decided to you know change our trip a little bit. Similarly for Hawaii, so because of seasonal issues, because of any um, you know personal flexibility issues that you may need, this is a big big benefit that you get that you can change the ticket just on the fly without any charges, and you you know as long as the other flight is uh, you know available or whatever you're looking for. And the the other benefit is that um, the it, the world is your oyster. So it basically it it enables you to plan your journey without any constraint that you have to visit these cities or you have to visit as long as the airline or the alliance uh, airlines are flying there. Fantastic. So for us, it was just the planning part was so much fun because what we enjoyed was just this. Um, should we go to North, uh, Latin America? Should we go to um, Africa? Should we go to Canada? Should we, sh what should be our theme of our trip? So, for example, we decided that we wanted to do as many nature parks as possible and do it uh, during the, uh, let's say, shoulder seasons that when it's not really too uh, crowded, but at the same time, it's not too cold or um, too stormy or the seasons are benefiting us. So that is what brings us to different national parks and nature parks in the world and we are enjoying the walks and the hikes in these places. So you can decide your own trip and you can say, hey, I want to visit the seven wonders of the world or I want to visit all the best Instagrammable places um, in the world and you could plan that. So that provides you so much of um, you know, opportunities to organize the trip the way you want to organize the trip. Now, how do you go about it? Um, in our case, uh, we have we are using uh, Star Alliance because um, Star Alliance gives us miles on uh, Singapore Airlines, where I have quite a few miles on, so I want to accumulate there. Um, so these tickets are offered by different. Uh, alliance partners or airlines directly. When we were researching, and it could have changed by now, but at least when we were booking and we were researching, I found that the Star Alliance has the best website to book these tickets. The other is One World, which is British Airways um, and their alliance partners, and the third is the Sky Team. Um, Sky Team is Air France, KLM, Delta, and um, many airlines on that. So basically, these are the three big chunks of alliance alliances that you can go to: Star Alliance, One World, and the Sky Team. Um, when we were booking, um, we found that Sky Team doesn't have an um, uh, round the world ticket uh, online portal. I think you have to call some call center, and it was not very, um, I would say, easy to do that. One World um, had a very good website. Um, however, I, we don't have alliance, uh, you know, I've never flown any of the airlines for One World, so I didn't have miles that I could accumulate or um, also use my um, uh, elite status there. Uh, so it's a choice is yours. However, what I also uh, found with the Star Alliance website is that it is very intuitive. Um, you just, you, you can, by the way, Google Star Alliance around the world, and I think on Google you'll get that as a first link. And it's a very, very intuitive tool. And it's just, even if you don't uh, plan to do a trip, I would just suggest to uh, play around with this tool. It's really fun because it uh, you know, shows you how um, you can organize such a trip and it kind of closes the destinations where it doesn't have a flight coming from or a Star Alliance uh, flight going from one location to the other. And it shows you all the cities that you can visit if, for example, you select any of the cities. The other question a lot of people ask is, can you use air miles? Yes, certainly you can use air miles. And initially that was our thinking also because um, over the last many years, I've accumulated quite a few air miles. So I thought, why not use those for booking a ticket? However, what I found was that um, air miles means that you would call the individual airline and then they have to organize that and you have to do it in a call center. There is no 
particular website that at least allowed me. I hope it's it's there now. And um, also, I realized that uh, by paying uh, um, a full price ticket, it gave me, or at least buying the ticket by uh, by cash, it gave me a lot more flexibility than what Air, Air Miles was going giving us. So overall, in summary, I would say um, it's it's a brilliant um, offer that the airlines have, um, much cheaper. In fact, some of my friends uh, and their parents are also thinking to use this uh, while they are traveling from, let's say, India to the U.S. So they are saying, hey, our tickets from India to the U.S. is as expensive as your round-the-world ticket is, so we might as well as um, buy a ticket in a way that we stop over in Australia or Japan so that we use this to, you know, travel somewhere. So it could be that you don't want to do a round the world ticket or you don't, you have a time constraint to do a round the world ticket, but by mixing or matching one or two destinations just to do a brief stopover as a holiday, you could potentially just still get those benefits of the price and the flexibility of this ticket. So it is still worth, um, you know, uh, evaluating and looking for. So I hope that this video helps you to um, understand this, <laughs> uh, the hidden secret of this round the world tickets. If you have any questions about the round the world tickets, please feel free to get in touch by commenting on the video or, you know, messaging me. I'll try my best to, to answer your questions. And do please uh, like and share and subscribe this video. Take care. Bye-bye.